As one of the farming bodies today said, look, there is goodwill there. There is an acknowledgement within the agriculture you know, sector that change is underway and is necessary. But the findings in this report, the language they used was extreme, radical, vicious. And in the words of Michael Fitzmaurice, who's sitting next to you, it amounted to the ethnic cleansing of agriculture communities. What do you say to that? OK, I think, first of all, it's pretty clear that the changes that are going to be required for all of us, by the way, not just agriculture, across, across all facets of Irish society and our economy, these changes are significant and they're going to roll out over time. But I think the context that's missing to this discussion, if I might say so far, is the time frame. We're not talking about 2030 here, we're talking about 2050. So the time horizon here is in fact close to 30 years. So before we all start uh, throwing our hats in the air and saying it's, it's a disaster, we can't do it, many things change over a 20, 20 and 30 year period. If you cast your mind back to 20, 30 years ago, in our agricultural profile was quite different to what it is today. So change happens Anyhow, change happens. And let me give you a small example, Kira. Between 10, 2010 and 2020, agricultural okay. emissions increased by 20% because of a policy shift driven by a combination of political decisions uh, backed up by the agricultural industry pushing a particular direction. Now, that was a radical change. But that didn't mean that, that there's nowhere back from that. The problem, of course, with that change, oh. that bad policy change is it's put us in a much worse position okay. than we should be. Okay, but... The EPA have said there is a road back from this and they've outlined what it is, which is this 30% cull to um, livestock numbers, 90% re-wetting of you know, peatlands that are being reclaimed. They, they've, they've pointed out what needs to be done yep. according to the information that's available to them now and I suppose projected advancements in technology. This is what needs to be done. And rural TDs and uh, rural um, farming lobbies are saying it's radical. It's extreme. It's going to lead to a rural uprising. OK, let's take a, what we call a 30% call. I don't like the use of the word call, by the way, because it's, I think it's kind of loaded. But let's just say a 30% reduction in our, in our livestock loading. Now, that's over almost a 30-year time frame. So when you break okay, it so down like that... Just to be that, clear, though, John, talking, do, you you think, know, do you agree with the EPA? This is what's necessary. Well, it, this is the minimum that is necessary. In fact, you know, in fact, if anything, they're lowballing right across here. And I would, if I might, come back here as well to one thing that you said in your introduction about Michael's comments on this, the ethnic cleansing thing. Now, just for, for reference, ethnic cleansing, the definition of it is that the mass expulsion or killing of members of one ethnic or religious group. It comes to mind Srebrenica in, in Yugoslavia or indeed Mariupol right now. And I would ask Michael, maybe right here on air, Here's an opportunity to retract. We do not need that type of inflammatory language in our discussions, Michael. You as a public representative, we as journalists, we need to be very temperate. There are right-wing people out there on the streets causing trouble. We need to be super careful of the type of language that we use because when you suggest ethnic cleansing, there are people out there who will believe they're under some kind of violent uh, assault and may react accordingly. So maybe, Michael, you might like to clarify okay. that. Michael? Well, first of all, John, I will never um, apologise to you or your like, first of all. What I've said, I'll stand over it. Um, and what I mean by that, uh, Kira, is from where you're from in Donegal, right down to the bottom of Kerry, and indeed parts of Cork, right out to the Midlands and Offaly. We're not talking about all of Ireland. There's none of this going to happen in the Golden Vale. There's none of this going to happen in the, in the plains of Kildare or in the hills of Meath. What you are looking at is people, family farms, small family farms. Mm -hmm. Ironically enough, the family farms that most of them are in organic production at the moment being taken out of commission. You are looking at, say, you talk about 90% of a farm of some of peatland being um, basically put back and re-wetted. Okay. It, it could be 100% of somebody's okay. farm. OK, but and Michael we will Fitzmaurice... Not, and, and I'll be very no, clear I just, sorry, this. I'm just going to cut across you there. The use of the phrase ethnic cleansing. Yeah, and it is. It's getting you stand rid, over it's that? You don't rid, think that language getting, is inflammatory yes. and irresponsible? Yeah, it's not inflammatory. It's the fact that we're getting rid of family farms in the West, Northwest, Southwest and the Midlands if this is going ahead. And in my opinion, it won't be tolerated because... What we have to Are remember... Are you scaremongering oh, No, I'm not, bit, I'm not think, scaremongering. Well, I didn't write the report. They wrote it. What I, yeah, but what, you're, what, you're saying it's wipeout for farms. Yeah, but, it, but, farms. It, but what I am... I'll be very clear on this. Where is the, the reclaimed peatland? It's in the areas I've outlined. Where is 
the areas where there be you're not going to be buying land at 20,000 an acre below on the Gornet Vale. You'll be buying it in Donegal, okay. parts of Galway, and places like that where it's cheaper. You are looking at a third, 25% to be exact, okay. to 28% of lands in this country, agricultural land at the moment, being taken out of production. Okay, and you know but just, just to the point, sorry, you know just, about, yeah, sorry, you know just about the this? point that John said that politicians, media, everybody involved in this difficult conversation, they need to be responsible about the language yeah, that I'm they being, use. I, I, I'm being responsible. I stand over what I said and I will not back from it.